four meals a day. I'm not one of the cooks in the kitchen, but like my job, I feel like it's important because we're the ones making sure they have what they need to put out a meal. Some people have set hours. We run the clock 24 hours. So there's three parts of our job. We deliver, we inspect, and we maintain or fix ground equipment. Without ground power, there is no air power. For us to be able to deploy, we need to be physically fit, and we offer all of the amenities to be able to get those and in everyday life. At the end of the day, it's about delivering fuel on time so the aircraft can leave on time. Our DOD coalition and international partners rely on the information that we provide being of decision quality. And so we truly are responsible for arming the nation with that decisive knowledge. If you're having trouble with your finances, we can sit down and talk about that. If you're having trouble with finding employment for your family members, we can work with that. But a lot of times by using our services, your military life will just be easier simply because you know things that you wouldn't know if you weren't here. Um, our goal is always to get people into our facility. At the IW cell, or the Information Warfare cell here at the NAP, we're able to synergize with public affairs, which is what I am, with information operations, with electronic warfare, with Air Force's cyber, to make sure that whatever our warfighters need in the NAF, we can reach out with all of our different fingers and be able to connect those folks to the people they need to talk to. We support all airmen and commanders with various medical issues, such as medical evaluation boards, issues impacting medical readiness, even to humanitarian reassignments. I watch the cameras, make sure no one's doing something wrong, and then if someone's doing something wrong, I'll be able to kind of be like the eye in the sky to see what's going on, send a patrolman down there.